Open the display Crosby Power Consumption. The display is set to read only, so you need to save the changes under a different name. Click the Save button and select Save as to save a copy of the display. Add underscore your initials to the title of the original display. Click Calculations on the left side of the screen. The list shows three calculations for the power consumption for the three wells in Crosby. The tick mark shows that the calculation is already used on the display. We want to make use of the calculations by adding the minimum and maximum values to the trends. Drag and drop the minimum and maximum from the columns list to each of the trends. Make sure to use the correct calculation for each well. We want to edit the existing calculations to use the shifts as a calculation basis. Select a calculation and click on the Edit symbol. Under Advanced Options in the Calculation Editor, set the Calc Interval to 8 hours. Click the Enable box for Sync Time and set the Sync Time to 6 hours. Click Save. Repeat this for all three calculations. At the last calculation, let us take a moment to study how this calculation was built. Note that this calculation is only using one pi tag in the build-in functions to create summary calculations as we have used them in the trends. In the next exercise we will see how to create expressions with more than one data item. For this, we will be using attributes. Save the display before we move on to the next exercise.